Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, Dragon 8 Draws from Instructions, joined by my friend Rocky here. Hello. So last week we drew a beautiful Rufus, as you can clearly see right here, and Pumbaa's still there. Um, or non Pumba anyway. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the score last week. Camera, if you could... You know what? I'm going to turn the autofocus off. I forgot to mention the score last week. So last week, as of last week, I have three points. Rocky has one point. And uh, today we are moving on to uh, something else. Did you pick out topics for today? Yep, we have three topics. All one right. that was suggested, which is our plain old animal. Okay. Next is something from Jimmy Neutron. Okay, Jimmy Neutron. I remember that show. That was one of my favorites again. And uh, the third is something from Prince of Persia. Ooh. Wouldn't be his dragon tattoo, would it? You'll find out. <laughs> um, geez, I don't know. I think maybe we should leave the... Well, okay, keep the don't change whatever it is. Um, but we'll, we'll do probably just a normal animal for today, because that was a suggested one. And um, maybe at some point in the future we can do a Prince of Persia theme thing. Um, but I kind of want to do the others that were suggested as well. Uh, Looney Tunes was um, suggested, and so was uh snorlax so i wanted to do snorlax oh and uh jack skellington i don't know if you got that one so jack skellington yeah. and snorlax were both um want, uh suggested so i'm, I'm just going to write them down here oops i have them written down as well okay i just want to remind myself of it so we'll keep those there and these will definitely be topics that we will do and i think for the jack skellington and the snorlax because they're already specific characters um, the points should be based on how accurate it is to the real thing instead of based on whether I guess it right or not because <laughs> obviously I'm going to guess them right. I don't know, you could draw Snorlax and guess Poliwhirl. It would just be stupid on my part. <laughs> Normal animal today, so let's get started with the first instruction. Just pull up my reference picture. Draw a small circle the size, uh, just a bit bigger than a toonie. Just a bit bigger than a toonie. Right in the middle of the page? Yep. Pencil. Work with me here. A toonie should be about that big, so maybe just a little bit bigger. Okay, maybe that is uh, quite a bit bigger than a toonie. Oh, well, it should be okay. Uh, about one third of the way down from the top of the circle, mm -hmm. inside the circle, on both sides of the circle equally apart. How should the eyes be drawn? Just like normal circles like that? Or should it be more? Like very, you know, beady eyes, like dark black. Okay. Okay. Well, kind of curious what this animal is going to be already. Wow. There we go. Fill it in. Fill it in nice. Nice and dark. Got it. Okay. I feel like it's going to be a bear. That's not my guess. It's going to be like, don't guess just yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll make my guess now, just with the big circle right in the middle. Dad, I know what it is. For the mouth is the challenging part. Oh, oh no. I don't like the challenging part. Okay, the way I've been describe this is weird. Keep it in mind. This is not a cat, but the mouth is very cat-like. So like a little muzzle. Cat, cat, a cat mouth would be kind of like that. No, no, I mean an actual cat mouth, like a muzzle. Oh. So like sticking off the page. So know, it's a little bit off. The, yeah, a little somewhat. bit. Somewhat. I don't know how to draw like that. Um. Okay, so start with like a line going down. Yeah, kind of like a triangle going outwards. Oh gosh, what was that weird static noise? Are we being haunted? Been... Did you hear it? Yeah, I think that might have been my uh, computer. <laughs> but I shouldn't be hearing any static noise coming from your computer. It's just your microphone. It should be picking up noise. Okay, this this looked weird. Yeah, and then draw it going to a point. Like, there. Yeah, a little bit longer though. Like kind of right there. A little bit longer. It's Still? a very long muzzle. Like off the circle. Yes. Oh. Okay. But now you look like a duck. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of looks like a duck. 
Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah, and then kind of circle, like, uh, join the end with a little circle. Like, not like half circle. There you go. There we go. It does look duck like. It does look duck like. I thought you said it was cat like. Apparently, ducks and cats have similar nose mouths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what planet you're on. Now draw a line, go like a, a black line going from the top of the head mm -hmm. to the bottom of the nose. All the way here? Yeah. This is very weird. There's like one straight line. Yeah, draw a little uh, dark little spot on the end of the nose for the actual nose. Kind of like that, and then this yeah. whole spot is dark. Yeah. Okay. Whee! Color it in. There you go. Perfect. Now it's starting to look like an animal. Still kind of looks like a duck. <laughs> now these ears are very long ears. Uh, not straight up, a little bit slanted. So, you know where the eyes start? That's where the ear should start. And then it should end. I'm, I'm pointing at my screen like you're going to be able to see where I'm pointing. I can totally see where you're pointing. <laughs> about the top of the muzzle. The, yeah, right about there. Start the mm -hmm. ear right about there. Uh huh. And then go outwards to the side a little. Like that way? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like that. Perfect length. Now round it out. <clears throat> At the top. Okay. And then follow that round down close towards the jawline. Down to about there. Same thing on the other side. That is okay. perfect. Literally perfect. Okay. Well, let's see if I can repeat it. For some reason, trying something on the opposite side like this never, never works out for me. Um, oh, this one's a bit straighter. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect equal size. No animal is perfect. They're all made interestingly. Exactly. All right, there we go. I think I got that. Now just do a little bit of stray lines for like eyebrows above the eyes. You know how cats eyebrows come off their body? Kind of. Like whiskers? Okay. They're like eye whiskers. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know, kind of like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's That doesn't make me feel very confident. This looks, this feels really weird now, but okay. Now off the top, the tip of the nose, do the same thing with whiskers coming off. Whiskers coming off. And boop. Boop. And one little more. Kind of like that. So just off what you see right now, mm -hmm. what do you think? Well, I think it's a fox. Well, let's continue and you'll find out. Now draw the body. An oval shape going downwards to almost the bottom of the page. Now don't draw the top of the oval. Make it so it looks like it's attached to the head. Okay. So, so just kind of like... There you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Try to repeat the same on the other side. Harder than it seems. There. Do the hand halfway down the body to straight arms going downwards. On, Ooh, on the body oh. itself. Huh? On the body itself. Oh, on, on the body. Well, shoot. I thought I was going to make a human, humanoid-ish animal thing here. Kind of like that? Yeah. A little bit longer, though. A little longer? Yeah, they have a little bit of longer arms. Okay. 
Yeah. And then round them off at the end, like paws. Because obviously animals have paws. Yeah. Not not fingers. Unless they're a monkey. Do monkeys actually There's... have fingers? Would it be called fingers? Or yes, would it still I think be called paws? No, I think they're still called fingers. Well, hands versus paws. And then fingers. Yeah, this is clearly not a monkey, by the way. No, 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 don't worry. That wasn't my guess. <laughs> All right, now next to the bottom of the body, draw two circles for the thigh portion of the leg. More static stuff. We're being haunted. Round circles? Yeah, kind of kind of like like thigh shapes, like setting, setting dog kind of thighs. Like that? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I like how this looks or not, but okay. <laughs> something kind of like that. Should I like attach it somewhere or something? Uh, no. Uh, kind of like in the middle, separate them. So like there's an obvious separation between the two. Kind of like that. Yeah, I think this is the best drawing we've done so far. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm not sure if your drawing skills are getting better or my descriptive skills are getting better. Oh, of course, my drawing skills are getting better. <laughs> oh. All right, now draw like long paws for feet. Uh, okay. But da, but da, and then long paws. And then, like... kinda, yeah, and then circle them off at the edges at the end. Oh, geez, now it looks like a hoof. Oh no, this is not a pig fox bear thing. This should not have a split hoof like that. Maybe something kind of like that. There, that looks a little better to me. Now again, to repeat it on the other side. It has to be perfectly symmetrical. Nope, no thanks. I remember when we were in class and we had to use those mirrors to draw up perfectly symmetrical shapes. Yeah, that was interesting. So it, it, it was like a semi-transparent mirror kind of thing, so you could like see through it but still see the reflection. Those were weird. It was kind of cool. I think I, I, I prefer to just play around with the things <laughs> instead of actually using them to draw. I would draw like half words and then I would put it on and see what the other half of the word would look like at the same front or the same as the back. I was a weird kid. Mm -hmm. I think we both were. Now, ready for the tail. Very long bushy tail. <laughs> and where is it coming from? Is it starting from here or starting from like back here starting from the right side go out like a little bit of a curve kind of like a wick going upwards oh, that looks way too straight yeah it's a little far out too oh that's too far more, out yeah okay more closer to the body okay one sec a bit longer and then kind of curve it. Kind of like that? Yeah, and then kind of curve it at the top and then rejoin it at the bottom. All right. That uh, looks... And then rejoin uh... it at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know if I'm too happy with it, but well, that's not too bad, I guess. Well, you've drawn the animal. Mm -hmm. The animal is white, so you, I don't have to do any coloring. Oh, it's, it's white? Well, it's definitely not a bunny. Uh, draw an inner version of the ears inside the ears for, like, the inside of the cave part of the ears. I don't know if that's really going to help too much. I still, I still think it looks like a fox. Is that your final guess? Yeah. You're right. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Hooray! This and is, if this you is... can guess the type of fox, I will give you an extra point. Um, oh god. Is it snow, snow fox? No. Shoot. It is a fennec fox. Fennec? Yep. How the heck was I going to possibly guess that? <laughs> I don't know. How do you spell that? F E N N E C. F E N N E C. Yeah, there was there was no darn way I was gonna guess that. Are you kidding? <laughs> Give it a little more detail very, on, the, on the tail. They there. are one of the most. Well, they're not common as house pets, but they're one of the few foxes you can actually train to be house pets. Interesting. Like you, you mean can as in legally? Yes. Okay. 
you have the proper paperwork yet. Yeah. They have, their, the most defined feature is their black beady eyes and their extremely long ears. Well, I don't know if I ruined the tail by making it look kind of hairy and bushy like that or not, but... No, no it looks pretty good. Do you want this thing as a pet? I think it would be kind of cute. It's like you have a cat and dog mixed into one. Okay, well, there is uh, this week's little creation. This is a fennec fox. Um, so I don't get a bonus point, but I do have... What is it? It's four points, right? Why do my R's never look right? Four points for you, one point for me. Perfect. Well, we're getting closer to the to the ten. Yep. Well, I think I think last week's Rufus <laughs> does not compare to this. Th this is definitely what, one of my favorites so far. Let's let's just go quickly and look at. Oh God, no. <laughs> I mean, Glalie wasn't too bad. Glalie was pretty good. The Chow was, well. The Chow was special. <laughs> <laughs> this one was pretty good, although unfortunately no one gets to freaking see that one uh, because yeah. my stupid phone camera decided to to not work at all, and so I kind of lost like everything to do with it. I had the half, or the I I, I had like the finished product, and that was it. So. Whatever, it worked. <clears throat> so, I hope you all enjoyed this. Please let me know what you, th let us know what you think of this drawing. I like this one. This is definitely my favorite so far, aside from, not that one. <laughs> definitely not you, no. <laughs> Big X. <laughs> that one was, like you said, very special. Th this one was pretty good until I ruined it with all the red, but I thought the red would be kind of goldish. I'm kidding. Pretty, pretty Fennec Fox. That's what we're gonna call him. And this was, uh, it's the word I'm looking for. Suggested? What the heck? And uh, this was suggested by Mitsu. Yep. Uh, to do a fox. Well, a any kind of animal, but she did spe specify a fox. And I th I am very, very happy with it. Uh, so yeah, th let us know what you, th what you think of this. Uh, also, don't forget to leave suggestions for future topics. We have here Jack Skellington, Snorlax, and what is that? Looney. Oh, I just wrote Looney. <laughs> Looney Tunes. So these are our suggested things. I think I'm gonna start writing these um, here just so that people don't think we have uh, forgotten about them. And I'll just, you know, write them on, on every new page as I do with all these things here as usual. And uh, that is it. So we will see you all again next week. So have a wonderful week. Leave suggestions below and God bless. Comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day.